Lauren Annie here and today I'm happy to give you guys my 2020 bookshelf tour. Alrighty, so this is how it looks from afar so you guys can see what's on the top and I'm gonna move my camera slowly all the way to the bottom so you guys can see the whole thing. Actually, if you've been following my channel, you may notice that I still have the same bookshelves even though it's been three years. I've been wanting to buy a new one but I just realized we do not have enough space in the house so every time I buy new books, I just have to figure out how to make them all fit and so far, I've also been unhauling some books and that's the reason why I still managed to keep them all in one place. And there's also my dog right there. <laughs> He's taking a nap. He's having the time of his life and he does not want to leave the room. Anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna move closer now and show you guys what books I have in each section. Okay, so let's start here in the first section. This is where you're gonna find all of my Rick Riordan books together with my Wonder Woman Funko Pop. Now, for my books, we have here the first uh, five. It's the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, followed by the Trials of Apollo series. That's books one to four. And then Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. The Kane Chronicles and then these five books over here. These are the Heroes of Olympus series and we also have a collection of short stories. So this one is entitled Nine from the Nine Worlds. Just short stories about the characters from Magnus Chase. And then the last one we have Demigods and Magicians. So this is where Percy and Annabeth meet the Kane siblings. So that's it for the first section. We now move on to the second one. So in this section, we're mostly gonna find books by JK Rowling. So we have there my Harry Potter set, books one to seven, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, my Harry Potter Q Posket, together with Iron Man. We also have Captain America and a character that my husband loves. So they're mostly children's books. If I move you just a little bit right there, okay, you can see um, Patrick Ness's books, The Boy, The Boat, and The Beast, See You in the Cosmos, Nevermore and Wondersmith. I love this series so much. I cannot wait for the third book. I'm so excited. We also have here packs and books written by RJ Palacio. So this section is one of my favorites because I've read most of them. And I don't know, for some reason, I just love looking at them. So moving on here in the third section, I don't really need to talk a lot about this part because obviously this is where I keep all of my YA contemporary novels. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see the books that I have. Some of which I have um, Jennifer Niven's books. Now these books are already highly talked about here in booktube so they're really popular. And then what else? I have Tahiri Mafi's book, Aristotle and Dante, Jenny Han, Andy Thomas, Rainbow Rowell. And by the way, I'm really looking forward to the sequel of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I've seen the trailer and I think it's super cute. I'm just way excited. And I'm also looking forward to All the Bright Places. I've also read the comments of the trailer. Some people were already ranting because of course this book is a really sad and heartbreaking story but the movie turned into like a rom-com so I don't know, I'm still gonna find out how I'm gonna feel about it. But anyway, that's it for the third section. Let's move on to the second column. So we are now here in the second column and we're gonna start in this part right here. So you're mostly gonna find books with animal characters in them. And I already told you guys in my past videos that I love animals, especially dogs. And speaking of dogs, Lilo is actually still here. And yeah, he doesn't want to leave me. Hi, baby. Oh, you're sleepy. Okay, I don't want to wake you up. I'm sorry. I love you. Oh, great. He's really sleepy. <laughs> Bye, Lilo. Okay, now moving back. So as I mentioned, books with animal characters. And I also have a few children's books. So we have The Giver and then Sun. I don't have books two and three, but I have them as ebooks. And I've already read the quartet and I loved it. And then I also have here the Mysterious Benedict Society series written by Twenton Lee Stewart. So he's one of my husband's favorite authors and I read it and also liked it. And then we have um, dog stuffed toys with Lilo's name. And then a cute mug that says 
dogs never lie about love and that is so true so over here this is actually one of my favorites because this is where I keep the books written by two of my favorite authors namely Frederick Backman and of course Mitch Albom so these are Frederick Backman's books. I don't have all of them, but some I do have as ebooks. And then up here we have the books in paperback written by Mitch Album, and the ones here are in hardcover. So this is the latest addition to my collection. It's entitled Finding Chica. So this is actually a memoir and I'm so excited to read it. And then moving to the side, we have another Harry Potter set together with my Hermione Q Posket. And then on top of that, I have The Chronicles of Narnia. So all seven books are in this big chunker right here. So yeah, as I mentioned, I love this section because all of these books are really special to me. Now over here in this section, you can find books that I believe are already familiar to you guys. So we have The Six of Crows Duology, The Hunger Games series, Strange the Dreamer, Muse of Nightmares, and Skyward. And then on top of them, you can find a Jollibee Funko Pop and a cute Boston Terrier mug. So I don't really know why I put them here, but they look cute. So I'm just gonna let it be. <laughs> and then over here to the left, you can find my books that are written by James Patterson. So we have the Maximum Ride series, along with some love stories that he has also written. So yeah that's it for this section and now we move on to the third column now i'm actually bending a little bit because we are now here in the third column and we're getting lower and lower into my bookshelves so over here in this section you're mostly gonna find historical fiction and some standalones that i really like so we have books written by Rudas the Petties, All the Light We Cannot See, The Book Thief, The Diary of a Young Girl, The Time Traveler's Wife, The Help, Atonement, The Martian, Ready Player One. I love Ready Player One so much. It's actually one of my favorite standalones. And then we also have The Host and more standalones in this section. So we have Ali Siebold, The Night Circus, Horse Whisperer, the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry, and you can just keep reading that because there's so many. And then I also have Ogmandino's book. So I don't know if you're familiar with Ogmandino, but he's also a very inspiring author. And my mom loves him so much. And that's the reason why I have his books because she just keeps talking about him. And then I also have a cute kitty mug right there. And then to the right, I have a beautiful depiction of The Last Supper. So we got this when we went to Bacolod City and it's just beautiful. So yeah, we are done. And then we move on to this next section. So this is very easy because they're all books written by Nicholas Sparks and some other romance novels that I have. So, so far I have all of Sparks' books except for the latest one. And then we have here Me Before You, One Plus One, The Light Between Oceans, and Water for Elephants. Now over here we have my non-fiction books. So some of these belong to Nathan, mostly the ones on the left. And the ones on the right are mine. So these are mostly self-help books, business books, books about marketing and entrepreneurship. And then I also have a few cookbooks right there. So I tried to collect some cookbooks too because I know I need them as a wife and as a mother. So yeah, so that's it for this section. And now we are going down to the last column of my bookshelf. So we are down to the last column and Lilo is still here with me. I hope you guys are too. Okay, so in this section, you can find some textbooks about writing. And then this is also where I keep my classics. So we have here books written by Richard Paul Evans, Oscar Wilde, Alexander Dumas, George Orwell, and some other really famous authors in the classic genre. And then to the right, I have here books about motherhood and parenting because I did not know how to be a parent when we first had Brielle. So I had to read as much as I could, but I just realized learning comes along the way. Now in this section right here, you can find Nathan's books. So we have here books about Star Wars and Gundam. And then we also have a Captain Marvel doll that we got for Brielle for her birthday and a Marvel superheroes collection that we also got for her so nothing much to say about this part except that we love Marvel and my husband loves Star Wars <laughs> and then to the last 
part here so these are in boxes because they are scriptures now i grew up as a christian and we really value the scriptures so i try to you know keep them protected and safe at all times and then i have here two books that i don't know why i put them there but they're there <laughs> So that's it for the last column and we are actually done. So here's one final look at my bookshelves before I end this video. I just want to say thank you so much guys for watching this. I hope you had fun and of course if it's your first time watching my video, I hope you subscribe and stick around and then let me know in the comment section below how you arrange your bookshelves. Do you do it by genre or alphabetically or the rainbow colored arrangement like what the others do? But in my case, I don't really have a special arrangement. I just put them together based on how I feel or how I want them to look. So nothing special really. Anyways, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.